ever since Tyree Nichols had you know passed away, we've seen immediately that all the corporate, you know, them folks media has been out there just demonizing the five black police officers. Now, we all in the black community, we demonize them too, because you know what? We don't support race soldiers taking people out that's innocent. You notice how black people immediately condemned them? You notice how immediately black people wanted them charged? Black people was happy they got put in jail? You notice that? But when it comes to them folks, and it's you know people from their community doing it, notice how they not quick to want them in jail? Notice how they got 50 million excuses for what they done? Notice they don't want them charged, they get upset, they get mad if they get convicted? Do you notice that? You see the difference with black people versus them? How, how even if one of our own do something, we want justice done and we want to see them in jail. This is why we are more righteous than them because that's the way we operate. But immediately, this media here went into their anti-black racism because all of a sudden, police brutality is wrong. All of a sudden, it was wrong if you paid attention to that. Oh, they was just talking about Tyree Nichols and his family and Oh my God, you thought that you were watching a, a, a left-wing platform or something, you know, because they do it just to be gaming black people and try to keep black people, you know, voting for them. But Fox News is up there just, like, they're the biggest supporters of Tyree Nichols. Biggest supporters. They was even questioning in the here and there, well, why black people didn't get out in the street and, and had an uprising? Um because we noticed something. We noticed that you guys actually have some good laws on the books. We noticed that when police officers who are black do something like that against another citizen, even their fellow black people, you have no problem firing them. It, it doesn't take long. You have, the prosecutor have, have don't take long at all to even charge them. Notice, they didn't say, well, you know, we got to look at all the angles and we got to have an investigation and, you know, we got to have a, a, you know, the grand jury comb through everything that we have. You know, it's taken a while with a body cam footage, you know, we got to look at that and, you know, we got to talk to the judge and, and, and it's like an act of Congress to get a white cop arrested. Distraught. Um you know, my heart went out to the, to the family. Um, I'm a parent, as you pointed out. I can't imagine anything worse than losing a child, with the possible exception of losing a child under really violent, prolonged circumstances. Um, and, you know, when I saw it, I just kept thinking about what it was going to be like when the family saw this. You have to have literally uprisings that cost billions of dollars to a city to get one of them arrested. But when it comes to the black ones, oh wow, everybody working in sync. There's no issue, there's no problem. But when many of you were calling out the, you know, definitely police execution of Tyree Nichols, people were saying that Tyree Nichols is a victim of white supremacy. And them folks, well, showing up on a lot of y'all Twitter pages and saying, what, what are you talking about? The officers were black. It wasn't white supremacy. Oh, yes, it was. Let me tell y'all how to fire back off at them when they tell you that. They say everything that those officers done was related to white supremacy, period. Those five officers didn't create this white supremacist system. They didn't create the white supremacist police force. They didn't create this qualified immunity, did they? They didn't create none of that to allow them to get away with the things they were getting away with. They didn't. They were trained in a white supremacist system. They was also taught anti-black behavior because I've talked to many black police officers, even those who had to quit, and they say you in that particular field, they want to, you to be anti-black, no matter if you're a black person, 
It don't matter if the cop is Hispanic. It don't matter if the cop is Asian or whatever. So if someone has anti-black sentiments, and yes, there are black people with anti-black sentiments. There are black people that can't stand other black people. Even Ice Cube talked about the black cop showing out for the white cop. Long time ago, he talked about that. And then we end up seeing later that there was a white cop there and involved. So that's what made me think about Ice Cube, black cops showing up for the white cop. You better believe everything. part of this is white supremacy and in the white supremacist system because the white cop has more privileges and rights and authority and deputized to take life, especially black life, whenever he wants. And it takes a it takes an uprising for him to get arrested. You know, it goes back to the casual deletion act that says that if you have to, you know, uh, discipline your slave, even if you end up deleting them, you're not going to go to jail. OK. That, that thought process is still in America today. Why is it, does it take a uprising that costs billions of dollars in property damage for one or two or three or whatever how many police to end up getting arrested? Look at all the stuff that happened behind Derek Chauvin with George Floyd. He was the main one that had his knee on George Floyd's neck. He was the main one. The whole country got turned upside down behind one white police. And it took a while for that man to get charged. Not immediately, but I guarantee you if Derek Chauvin was a black cop, they would have charged him, fired him the, the same day. So everything is related back to white supremacy. And you've had many black collaborators too in white supremacy all the way back to slavery time. You had black collaborators, black collaborators that was involved in the trade, black collaborators who were, uh, look at the movie Roots, remember Roots? When Kunta Kinte, you know, and they were telling him his name is Toby, who were they using to, to, to crack the whip on Kunta Kinte? It was black folk. You see Django Unchained, you see the Steven character. You remember how angry Steven was? When Django showed up, he was more angry than Calvin, the slave master, more angry than him. And he was, wasn't even really angry about the situation, but, 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 but <laughs> Stephen wanted, wanted to hurt him. Now, Stephen is your boule members. That's why they can't stand us in the grassroots. They can't stand us because they, they feel like they, they, they whole life is based in mass and what he got going on. But you've had plenty of black collaborators over the years, for in the hundreds and hundreds of years in white supremacy. Do you realize we wouldn't be in the condition that we're in if we didn't have no black collaborators? If every black person would say, I'm not assisting white supremacy against my own people, I'm not doing it. We wouldn't be in the condition that we're in. We're in a condition that we're in because of the collaborators that work with white supremacy. Dr. King would still be here if the collaborators in the black community didn't help set him up to get shot. Malcolm X would still be here if black collaborators weren't participating in his, you know, time when they shot him. Every time you've had, think about it, black people always hurting other black people in behest of white supremacy. Even in the African continent, same thing. How, how many people was betrayed by their own, and then you look behind the scenes, them folks' hands is right in it. We always selling each other out. We always want to do anything we can to get some crumbs from master's table. Hurt each other. Do whatever the case may be. So when these people online tell you about, oh, they were black, why are you saying white supremacy? You say, because they're working for you. That's who they're working for. And they didn't create the system, you did. And you benefit from that system still to this day. So yes, Tyree Nichols is a victim of white supremacy. It don't matter what, what color the cop is. The only difference is when it comes to the black cop, all of a sudden the laws work. And it lets you know, ladies and gentlemen, 
that they enforce the laws on black people, but when you have white skin, all of a sudden they don't enforce the law. Let me tell you something, the law is only good as the enforcement of it. And it, it lets you know with this Tyree Nichols case is that the law is no good until you enforce it. Notice the white cop, that Preston guy, notice he haven't got charged yet. Well, why he didn't get charged? Where's his mugshot? All them paramedics that, that, that was involved, that they let them go, they had white ones. Well, why they haven't got charged yet? You ever thought about that? But immediately the black cops? And, I, and I'm not saying I don't want them charged. I'm not saying I don't want them to go to jail because I do want them to go to jail and all of black America want them to go to jail. Every bit of them. But the law is swift on the black cop, but when it comes to the white ones and everybody else, well, we need to see, we need to investigate, well, we need to get a statement, you know, um, we, we, we don't know. Is that what you really saw on camera? I mean, it, it was a little glitchy. You sure it was them? Like, none of that was said by the black cops. But don't y'all let these people try to wiggle out of this one. And I always remember, we've always had collaborators. And today, we got collaborators of every group of white supremacy, no matter where they come from. Period. When you identify those collaborators, to me, they need to be identified, named. Uh, all we can do is internet shame them and don't mess with them or let them come around us. Period. You got to identify these people who they are. And understand white supremacy and the ideology of white supremacy is in every, every people group, including black folk. No matter where the black person come from, it's in a lot of black folk. A lot of you have internal white supremacy. And a lot of your, your self-hate that you have, or even the hatred of, of, of your own people itself, comes from the internal white supremacists in you. And we have to identify the internal white supremacists in our own community. Because to me, they're more dangerous at times than the actual white supremacists. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, this situation because, you know, they're trying to use this to, you know, mind screw y'all. You understand? With, oh, just because the cops are black with the situation. I don't care what color they are. I don't care. It's your system. You created it. You, you were the one uh, um, that have selective enforcement of the laws. There's a whole lot of things we're paying attention to with this. And black folks need to call all that out.